you can't win the Stanley Cup, or even make the playoffs for that matter, at least the Ducks ended the season on a high note. From Cutter Gauthier making his NHL debut to Jacob Silverberg playing his last, the Ducks winning their third ever game in Vegas, and so much more. It was quite a way to end the season. The Ducks' first Golden Knights game did start rough, though, with the Ducks taking 10 minutes to register a shot, and actually only four total in the first. Half of those came from Cutter Gauthier. Nice to see I'm not afraid to shoot already. If not for Dostal, this game could have been over in the first. He played amazing, and his play continued throughout the whole game. Yeah, you know, he's been awesome. In the second, who else but our leading goal scorer, Frank Vitrano, would get us on the board first, or the one-timer on the power play. At the time, I gotta admit, I was kind of disappointed we didn't get the kid power play, because I wanted to see Cutter show off his one-timer. But spoiler alert, Frankie was not done scoring, so I'm happy he got this one. The Knights would respond late in the second on a power play of their own from a deflection off Lunderstrom's stick, and Eichel gets rewarded for it. 1-1, heading into the third. Shots and scoreable. Shots, 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 shots. Yeah. I think that's the anthem here in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, we don't like Vegas, so we're not doing that. Thanks, Ray. Yeah, thanks. And it would take the Ducks just 51 seconds to take back the lead. Carlson goes around the net, stops and spins, and finds Gautier, who takes his time and finds the open man, Lacombe, and he finishes on the one tee. The first NHL point for Cutter is a primary assist. Look how happy Leo is for him. Cutter looks really good in the right orange and black. He played 15 minutes and 24 seconds, and he showed flashes of what he can do. The moment of playing in his first NHL game wasn't too big for him. He came to play. Also, another thing, his post-game interview felt so genuine, and you can tell how happy he is. I'm not going to lie, in some previous interviews, he seemed arrogant because he's so confident. And I'm not just talking about the one during the NCAA tournament. But all the ones with the Ducks, honestly, there is no other way to put it, but they have been so cute, like a little kid. He really is just taking it all in. I am so excited for what he can do next year, especially if he is playing on a line with Leo Carlson again. They already seemed to have immediate chemistry from puck drop versus the Knights. The Ducks will get another goal 30 seconds after Lacombe's goal from Vitrano again, this time on the rush, and he snipes it over Hill's right shoulder. Frankie was hyped after. The rest of the boys would be even more hyped as Vitrano would get his third goal on the empty net while the Ducks were shorthanded. So Frankie scored a power play, even strength, and a shorthanded goal for his fourth hat trick of the season and finishes the season with 37 goals. He would get the third star of the night and somehow Jack Eichel, who got one goal, got the second star of the night. It's not like his goal was flashy or anything. It went off Lundestrom. But whatever, Ducks win 4-1. to one. So many things to like about this game. From sending oop. Ah, Silverberg, off the right way. The way this game went for Sylvie just shows who he is as a player. He cut his hand that required stitches and still came back and played. I've already gave my thoughts on Sylv as a player and a person in previous videos, so I'll let Crow finish it off. We have a lot of Swedish players here. He's like the hen that everybody's following around. The baby hens follow him. Couldn't ask for a better role model for Leo. He's a great person. He's a great husband. He's a great dad. Some of the things the fans don't see is how these players prepare themselves, how they practice, how they go to the weight room. Silver does all those things 100% all the time. Thank you, Silverberg. You will be missed. Glad we could send you off the best way we could without playoffs. Ducks win just their third game in Vegas in six years. Also, I have to say something. This is the second time I've been to a game in Vegas. The first, their first season. And in six years, Vegas fans still don't understand the rules of watching a hockey game. They lean forward in their seats. I mean, I kind of get it because their seats are kind of terrible. Very small and they're not like position right. So like you kind of have to. And then also the arena is kind of to blame because they don't have people standing with signs saying, stop, the puck is in play. So people were going up and down, up and down all game long. This was the first season we have won the series against the Knights, winning three out of the four games. The Ducks started the year losing 4-1 to one to Vegas in Vegas, and they ended the season winning 4-1 to one in Vegas. To me, that kind of seems symbolic in some way. While this season was rough at times, more than honestly expected, we could see the growth from start to finish this season, minus more than a few rough stretches sprinkled throughout. The Ducks finished with 59 points, a one-point improvement over last season. Woo! And when you think about all the injuries they endured, mainly to their best players, that's actually impressive. Just what a roller coaster season. While worse than expected, at least to me, I can honestly say I enjoyed this season. I couldn't say that last year. There is so much promise going into next season. Obviously, still a lot of questions too. It's going to be an interesting off season, to say the least. And we look forward to continuing to provide content during it. Thank you all for the support this year. The growth on this channel has been insane. We're almost at 15K. While this channel may be three years old, 
this was the first year we really tried to be what we want this channel to be, not just shorts. So it's been a learning experience. There's a lot of things you don't even think about when making videos. I'm so thankful for the community we are building here and the people I've met this year. It's been a pleasure and during the season at times with you all, bigger and better things are coming for the ducks and hopefully this channel. And as always, thank you for watching and go ducks! The moments we shared, no regrets. The ducks gave it their all. Left it on the ice, silver bird. We saw your sacrifice. Through the highs and the lows, we stood by your side. With every shot, you filled us with pride. Though the trophy's not ours, we'll still cheer with glee for the Anaheim Ducks. A bright future we see.